Hi, all. There is no all, is there? <laughs> uh. So I was driving just now, and uh, it's a rainy day. It's a good day. But I've been having a, a slow day, and those, those kind of days are maybe sometimes good for, like, a reflective drive, you know? And uh, a thought popped into my head from Dietrich Bonhoeffer. And I think it's an overlooked one. And I, I think it's something that's kind of groundbreaking. So there was uh, some videos that I saw this past week on Twitter of like just sermons that I thought were just missing the point. And uh, they were all about the us them mentality or like be mindful to stay away from those people because they're unholy or not sacred or whatever. And that whole pursuit of purity by separation just fell apart for me. But as I was tracing back to it, I think it kind of started because of reading Bonhoeffer, like a good decade ago, really doing a deep dive on him. And let's, let's frame the, the idea first. So we often designate us and them, right? We think in binary oppositional thinking, up, down, left, right, black or white, all of that. Us versus them, holy versus unholy, right? And so Bonhoeffer talks about, we need to rethink this because this oppositional thinking is not the reality. Meaning there's not two realms. And he said, for most of church people, they tend to think of there's the sacred realm and then there's the realm that's defiled or profane. Profane actually means uh, pro in front and then fane is some derivative from temple. So there are some actions that you can only do when standing in front of the temple, but not within, you know, because that would be too much. But if you do it outside the temple, it's okay. So we have this dichotomy of sacred versus profane. And it, it leads us down so many paths of separation and divisiveness. And it can fuel a lot of anger and fury, which does create a lot of energy. Anger is quite energizing, right? But Bonhoeffer says there is no sacred realm or profane realm. There's no holy or unholy. And even though we like to make those distinctions, here are the people that are holy. Here are the people that are not holy. But actually, there's in Colossians 1, a passage that says that in Christ, all things have already been reconciled. And for Bonhoeffer, that meant there's not two realms. There's only one realm, the reconciled realm. There's no us versus them. There's only the reconciled whole. There are no holy people. There are no unholy people. There is only the reconciled whole of humanity. But what's so fascinating is that's not a Christianity that's spoken about in the West. In American culture, especially even in our seminaries, and I went to seminary, we don't talk about the reconciled race. We talk about the reconciled few or the reconciled half, however many people you think are actually included in God's scope of redemption. So I was just driving and I was thinking, wow, religion, the Christian religion, unfortunately has missed the point in the West. We keep up our dividing walls. We love to separate who's in and who's out, who's reconciled and who's not, but there is no out. There is only the reconciled whole. There is only one realm. And so I was just driving and wondering what could our lives look like if we stopped thinking who's in and who's out, what's sacred, what's profane, is this a part of the holy realm? Is that the unholy realm? There is only one realm. There is only one race. There is only one. The reconciled whole of everything. 
but you can't preach that in churches. <laughs> I've talked about that a few times and I get looks from people that are either like, oh my gosh, that's really beautiful. Or other people are like, oh, that's absolutely lost the point. You are no longer Christian. It's such a strange thing that we can't even take Colossians 1 at its word when it says, all things have already been reconciled. So, yeah. Maybe we can try to live from that headspace a little more often. I would probably benefit from doing it a little bit more often too. So yeah, there you go. There is only one holy reconciled realm, world. Yeah. Have a great day.